Hello, welcome to Tabletop CP. Today I'm going to take a look at a couple more Black Sight Studio buildings from their Warzone Arabia line. This time the Shabab building and the Minaret. So the first thing you notice when you look at these is they're gigantic and they're perfectly to scale I think. I like these bigger buildings. They're very substantial. Uh, they just look impressive when they're on the table, especially when they're all weathered up. So good job there for uh, Black Sight. And they're pre-painted as well, which is just a huge bonus for me is all I got to do is throw some weathering on after I put them together and they're ready to game with. So you can see here I have some uh, figures out for scale. These are 28 millimeter uh, Spectre Ops Task Force Operators. And I have a 156 scale uh, MRAP here that my friend Greg printed off for me. I mean, you can see these buildings just dwarf this thing. So these are really big buildings, which I like. So let's take a look at the minaret first. So a minaret, very common site in all Middle Eastern countries. And I thought, well, I have to have one for this table if I'm going to have a Middle Eastern table. Uh, the building does not come apart. The only thing that comes off is the top. And the dome itself will come off as well. But the building itself, that's, that's as far as it breaks down. Uh, all these pieces, all four sides are one long piece, which was a little bit of a problem for me. I didn't have, really have the right equipment to deal with it. I was using rubber bands and everything, and I was having a little bit of a problem. I finally got it, but I realized if I would have had some of those extendable wood clamps, that it would have made my life a lot easier. So if you have those, or if you have access to those, and you get this building, or any MDF building with long pieces like that, it'll really uh, make it easier to put together. So the minaret has... Uh, one door. It's got some of these uh, window boxes on two sides and then it has regular windows on the other two sides. And the bottom is sealed. You could just not put that on and if you actually want to just set a team inside and put it over them, you could do that. But uh, I think it's fine just the way it is. You just note, okay, I have a squad in the building, set it off to the side and move on. So that's the minaret. Now what we'll do is we'll take a look at the Shabab building. So the Shabab building here is a real beast, very substantial building. Uh, it has no windows on the sides. It only has windows on the front and the back. So we'll take a look at the back of the Shabab building here. And we'll just spin it around so you can get a good look at it there. So I have weathered it. I've weathered both these buildings with weathering powders and some of the uh, uh, Vallejo environmental rain streaks on the side. Gives it a nice weathered look. So this is a true three-story building. The roof comes off, all the floors come apart. And just like all the other black site stuff that I have, it goes together very easily, which is probably my favorite feature of all of these buildings I have, is just how easily the floors uh, connect together. Not fighting it. You can just uh, pull it off and set it back on, and it's on, and it's not going anywhere. So the Shabab building. So it's got a top floor. It's got a nice balcony here you can put some troops on. Painted walls, painted floors. And the kit even came with a bunch of extra detail, like rugs, which are pretty cool. They're just stripped or, uh, pieces of paper, so you have to soak them in uh, PVA glue and stick them down and let them dry, and then they're going to be on there forever. So you got a nice top floor here. Second floor, there's also, I forgot, there's also staircases that come with it, which are in themselves quite easily to put together as far as stairs and MDF go. The second floor comes off as well. And then you have the bottom floor. It's another rug. We have opening and closing doors, which are nice. So you can kick the door open, you can lock it, whatever needs to be done. In your mission. It also has a bay door here and this is the roll-up door which I don't know if you saw my slums pack review but I did not have this piece so I was forced to uh, kind of improvise a little bit. I don't know if it wasn't in there or if I just maybe tossed it and didn't realize what it was but nevertheless I didn't have it for that but I did for this so that's what the roll-up door looks like so it's pretty nice and uh, yeah so that's this is supposed to be like a shop some kind of a business. So I have put three different business names on it. So the bottom one is this trading company. Um, then I have this is another trading company here. And then this is uh, textile trading. So it's a 
trading company. Three different ones. Each one occupies one of the floors. So that is the Shabab building. So review wise, uh, I would definitely recommend these. They're pretty inexpensive for what you get. They're fairly easy to put together and they're pre-painted and the best thing about them is how easily the floors stack on top of each other without having to fight with them to line them up with the pegs and everything. So what I'll do now is I'll grab the rest of my black site stuff and we'll take a look at it all together. And here we have all of my black site studio stuff together. So we got the Shabab building and the minaret. Uh, I forgot this one's called Habib building or something like that. And we got the slums pack in the front which is these two and then the uh, market pack here and you can tell the scale of these things is really big uh, I mean, actually it's not big it's just the right size I think for scale wise for these troops and you don't need a whole lot to fill up a good portion of the table especially if you're playing on a smaller uh, table like a 4 by 4 table you can get away with probably this many buildings and have almost a uh, full table just by adding some some uh, you know scattered terrain and roads and stuff trees whatever uh, you don't need a lot because of the size of them and they're big enough to fight in uh, they're big enough to fight around they're big enough to block line of sight so they do their job they look good and they're pretty inexpensive as well which is uh, a bonus so that's it that's all the black site stuff i have for now um, i will order some more eventually i don't know exactly what yet i'm going to start looking at that but uh, for now this is going to be what i have on top of what i already have so i have a pretty good collection of middle east terrain right now so that's it for this review try to keep it short uh, just for Anyone who's interested in these buildings and maybe looking to purchase them and wants to see what they look like, uh, that's why I did it. So uh, thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.